Hello and welcome to what I uh, hope is a fun video. Um, I pulled out five rolls of the Lincoln Sense that I have um, out of that box of coin rolls that I picked up from my coin shop. I'm going to sort through these, go through them, and see what we got in here. Um, so this should be a fun video. I've been wanting to do this on a stream, but I'm having trouble with cooking up my camera to... to uh, the stream because I'm using my phone and, and it's not connected to the stream very well and uh, it's just uh, that and I haven't had a whole lot of time to do this so I gotta figure I'm trying to figure that out and figure out what kind of time I have but I've got all these pennies here I need to go through them so that's what I'm gonna do here I've got five of them so this is gonna be like a little preview um, I'll try to uh, put my microscope up when I'm looking at stuff um if i'm finding anything interesting um so yeah let's get into these five rolls see what's going on and yeah hopefully this will be an enjoyable video intro take 473 cue music cue coins yeah all right awesome now pick them up, I'm not rich. Okay, so I pulled out five different rolls from the box. Um, this one says it's a 1957 Lincoln with two eyes in Liberty. Um, and I got all these rolls for face value. So if this is a full roll of wheat cents, it could be the um, BIE die chip error. That's where there's a die chip um, in between the I and the E. Or they could be anywhere in Liberty. I'll, I'll go over that if uh, if this is a wheat cent roll. We'll find out in a minute. Um, this roll says 1960. We'll see if that's 1960. And this one is 1960 as well. There's some plenty of stuff to look for. Got one of these. Um, does it say foil? Foil light? Hold on. Oh, look at that. This one has some of that. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. I heard about these recently. I didn't realize I had some. That's really cool. So that'll be fun to look through, see what's in there. And I've got this regular one that's not marked here. So let's start off with this one and we'll see what we got. Um, some of these could be stuff out of collections. I can't get that side open. So this could be stuff out of collections. It could be um, just regular rolls of pennies. Um, this one looks more like a regular roll of pennies. What is that right there? Let's just zoom in, because I'm going to zoom in and we'll flip through this roll real quick. Ah, it's just a dirty, the dirty 1990. I thought it, it had that coloration. Hmm. This one looks like it has some plating issues. I wonder if this one... Had some plating removed. It looks like it's definitely either it's just really dirty and nasty or it got some acid on it. Look kind of looks like it has acid on it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just dirty and nasty penny. Um well, here's a really nice 1959. There are some there's some double dies you can find on the obverse of this. Take a peek real quick. Yeah, there doesn't look like there's anything there, but it's still a nice 1957. Um, let's see, 1971 out of Denver, 1968, 76. A lot of these look like normal pennies. This might be just a roll of stuff put together. Um, let's see, there's 78. That one's kind of gunky. So a lot of this I'm just gonna throw in a in my bucket and take it to my bank and dump it down the um, coin uh, return unless I find something nice. You know, here's a 1963 out of Denver. This one can have doubling uh, on the date. Uh, it's in the bottom three. You can see like a little extra bloop sticking out. I don't see that here on this one not bad it's not a bad condition coin it's just uh that's probably about average circulation 
Let's see. Oh, here's an interesting one. Look at that tone over on this side. Unfortunately, this one has some dirt or gunk on it. I don't know. It has some nice toning on this side. This one might have been in an album. It has that look. Ooh, wow. Yeah, this one had to have been in an album. Unfortunately, the obverse is dirty. I'm still going to set that up here as a interesting thing to look at. 1968 out of San Francisco. All right, so if I'm not finding anything, I might cut some of this, some of this footage of looking through some of these. 1989, nothing there. 2011, nothing really to look there. 67, 1960. Um, th there's a lot of different doubling you can find on the date. Oh, is that a small date? Let me take a good look. I don't have a Philadelphia small date. So the O looks like it is a small one. And the six, yep, yeah, that is a small date. Nice. I'm going to set that aside for my album, my personal album. And hopefully you'll find a better one in these rolls. But, you know, I do need a small date in my album. It'll fill the spot. This is 1967. I don't know why I'm looking at that. 1977. I mean, you could find stuff on any dates if you look at them all. I just don't have time to look at everything. Every single date. This is a 1960 Denver. And oh, it looks like this might, might have a small repunch mid mark at the very top here. Looks like there is an extra thing on the top of the D in Denver. Let's spin it around and see if we can get a better view of it. Let me make sure I'm focused. Yeah, that might be an RPM right there. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. That is a large date with large date with what looks like an RPM. I'm going to set it up here. We'll keep looking. This looks like it might be a roll of just mixed scents that came in. This one here. This Denver. This one's a small date. The other two, I think, are large dates. That one is a large date. Now that I've seen a small date. Oh, that one. That one's a large date as well. So those are large dates, nothing special about those. This Denver small date, um, there can be doubling on the date and um, the re minch mark can be repunched. Re um, I just had to refresh and see what was going on with these, which one was which, um, and that now uh, should be good for the rest of the hunt. All right, so that's the first roll. Um, these are all going to be tossed back. And I got a couple of keepers. All right. Let's uh, go through the next roll. All right. I'm going to go through one of these 1960 rolls and see if they're all 1960s or if that was just written on the paper. Um, and then uh, what I will do is I will probably just search through all these and I'll bring you in as I find stuff. I might do that with the rest of these. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Oh. This one's tight. And I see a lot of 1960s. So this one might be... Yeah, this looks like all 1960s. And they're all pretty brown. A couple of redder ones. So yeah. I'm going to go through and check these for any type of doubling on the dates. I need to find a small date from Philly for my album. Hopefully, I find one in this roll. And if I don't find anything, I will let you know. And we'll be back and I'll crack this one open and see what's in there. Um, that one might be 60s. But different rolls could be from different people. Look like slightly different handwriting. It might be the same. Looks like slightly different handwriting. So, we'll see. I'll go through these and I'll let you know what I find. 
Okay, well I finished that first roll um, of 1960s. Nothing, nothing uh, great in there. They were all pretty dirty, nasty, um, brown, circulated. So um, no fines on them. Let's check this one out. This one has another brown ender. And it is a 1960 as well. Um, all of the Philadelphias have been large dates so far. So, I don't know why I'm being so careful with the wrapper. No, oh, this is just one of those. Let's just don't wrap it. Yeah, this one looks like it might be dirty. It looks like 1960s. Although these are in a little bit of better shape. So that was correct. Let me go through these and um, uh, we'll let you know what we got and then we'll crack into these and see, what, see what's in here. Hoping these are a bit more fun than these 1960 rolls. All right, nothing a whole lot in there. There's a couple here that I'm gonna just take a good close look at. And if there is something on there, I'll add that right here. Okay, well, let's get into this one. This one has me interested because it's got the foil wrap on the inside. So this is cool. There's nothing written on it. So let's see what's in here. I guess I can zoom back out a little bit. All right. There's some dirty pennies in here. This looks like, well, there are some uh, red ones. Um, that's really cool. Foil wrap in a roll. There's some dirty ones, so this might be a mixed roll. So let's see, let me just, uh, I guess let me go through this real quick and we'll see what's what's inside here. So really pretty nice. It's got some um, spots on the outburst, but it's pretty decent uh, 1959. Cool, um, except for those uh, spots on it. All right, let me uh, go through the, ooh, here's a really red one. Let's just take a look and see what this one is. That is really shiny. 1977 out of Denver. The front's not, the front's got some uh, cloudiness on the surface, but the back is really shiny. I'll set that up here to see if it will go in my album. Um, hmm, well, these are 70, 1965. All right, well, let me sort through this and um, I'll let you know, welcome back and uh, let you know what I find in here. All right, this is an interesting find. I've got a 2004 out of Denver in pretty nice shape and all the 2004s, Denver and Philadelphia's. If they're in nice shape, I do like to check back here on the reverse down around the Lincoln, um, uh, memorial area for any minor doublings because there's a ton of them you can find. But when I put this under scope, I noticed um, the E Pluribus Unum is actually has some doubling. Uh, this matches to V uh, or DDR number one out on Variety Vista. If I can hold it straight, um, so that's really cool. It's got some doubling in the. Uh, uh, building here as well, but it's mostly you can tell the dots are stretched and there's some doubling on the unum and the some of the other letters. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to find. Um, I'm still going through this. I've got some dirty coins uh, that I'm gonna throw back. I've got a stack of the nicer ones up here that I'm gonna check against my album. I don't think any of them are gonna upgrade my personal album, but. I figured I would take a look and see, uh, but that's all I've come across so far. Just some nicer stuff and that. So that's, that's a really cool find. Nothing else was really in that roll except for this. This is a 1960 small date out of Philadelphia. It is rough, but it is the first and only small date Philadelphia I've come across. I do not have a Philadelphia small date in my album. So this is an awesome find for my album. I wish it was nicer, but it'll fill the spot till I get something nicer. All right, so we've got a 1957 roll here. 
And these should be the BIE Daicha pairs. If these are all wheat scents. And I'm seeing a wheat ender. So yeah, let's tump this out and see if this is all wheat scents or it just has some in here. That's cool. I picked these up for face value. Um, ah. Let's just give it a shove. Oh yeah. I got a roll of wheat scents. Oh. Nice, 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 nice. 1957, 1957, 1957s. That's cool. They're all kind of brown, so they're nothing fancy in here. This one might be the reddest one. Let's just zoom in and take a look at this one because I can see the die chip. On this one, you see the die chip in between the B and the E? That is the BIE die chip pair. Um, it looks like there might be a small little die chip on the one in the date. So I don't know if these are um, what this whole roll is going to be, but that's what it's labeled and marked. And hey, I got a whole roll of 1957s for face value. That's what it looks like. All right, let me sort through these. I'll scope them out. And um, if there's any really cool finds, I will let you know. Otherwise, I will maybe pop up a few of the BIE die chip errors um, through here um, when I get done. Just a few of the different ones I see. All right, be right back. Okay, so I gave all these a quick look. They are all 1957s. Um, I believe they're all from Philadelphia. I just gave them a quick look. Most of them are pretty similar. This is the nicest one in the roll. Um, but I'll pop up some pictures of the um, some of the differences here, as you're probably already seeing. Um, so what I'm going to do with this roll is I'm going to put it back in the wrapper here. And then I think I'll sell it on uh, my whatnot uh, auction I'm doing. Started off at a dollar because I think that's the starting price you have to start everything off at. Uh, you can't go under a dollar. Um, so I'll put them back in this wrapper. If anybody's interested, I'm picking them up. I took a quick look. Um, I didn't see anything super major, and a lot of them are kind of worn and dirty, but they are 50 wheat cents, I believe. I didn't count. Um, so I'll put them back in the wrapper, and again, this is the nicest one. I gotta take pictures of it before I put them in the wrapper. Um, so let me do that, and then we'll put them back in the wrapper. And uh, if you would like, um, go check out my whatnot auction on the 14th of December, and there will be a there's a link in the description uh, that gives you a chance to win anywhere from ten to two hundred dollars if you're brand new to uh, whatnot that you can use anywhere on whatnot so feel free to um, hit that link and uh, check me out and uh, if you would like to try and buy this starting at a buck um, I will have it listed out there for a dollar and then we'll just let it go and see what happens um, even if it sells for a dollar, that is fine by me. Let's wrap them back up. Should I go through another roll um, here? Let's see, can I fold this back up and get stuff in here? Um, yeah, we'll start on this side, I guess. I don't wrap up the coins. I, um, I send them to the, uh, I've got a bank that has a coin machine, so I don't wrap my coins. <laughs> so I don't do this very often. Not since I was younger. Um, so what do you think? Should I do another roll? Um, I want to do one more. Let's do one more in the video. I decided I want to open up one more. This is one that has been catching my eye for a while. So let's get into this. It looks like this end has been uncrimped at least. And maybe tried to roll back up because it... That's a tight roll right there. That's an actual machine roll and it has a little ender on it. This looks like it might have been hand rolled up. But this little 
roll has been catching my eye since I got this. It's been sitting on top and I've been like, oh, I want to open up this one. I want to open up this one. So let's open this up if I can. So here we go. So if you ever see rolls that look like it's kind of, I could probably just kind of crimp it a little bit and keep rolling it back up and make it look like it's been uh, unopened, an unopened roll. But this one has definitely been opened on this end. But I don't know, it looks like it has a one on the end that's been toned there. Oh, geez. Ooh, 1961. Ooh, this looks like it's an uncirculated 1961 roll. Cool. Nice. It looks like it's been in the roll for a while. You can tell because from the toning on how it is, but this probably not a actual uncirculated uncirculated roll it's probably someone has gone through an uncirculated roll and rolled it back up probably sold it as a unopened roll and it's just sat there let's see this looks like the ender um, you can tell where the roll of paper was sitting on the edge there they get kind of a oh, let me just zoom in uh, it's kind of dirty on the front, but you see how it has that bullseye tone kind of different colors where the paper was sitting on it and then the center um, was open to the air. And a lot of them have that color on it. So these are all 1961s. Let me run through these and see if there's anything in here. I have a really nice 1961 in my album, so I don't think that's going to upgrade. These are going to upgrade anything. Um, if these were Denver's, there would be some awesome stuff to look for. I don't know if there's quite anything on the 61 Philadelphia's to look for, but these are all pretty nice. Let me uh, run through this and uh, see what I see. Okay, well... There's not a whole lot to look for on the 1961, so I just kind of stacked them up, made sure they were all 1961s. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these. They are, are in pretty nice shape. Um, some of them do have some dirty marks and fingerprints. So this is definitely at least a slightly circulated bunch of coins. Some of them are do have some pretty nice surfaces on them too with little scratches. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these. But I'm going to set them to the side and I'll figure out something to do with these, something fun. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much about all I'm going to do for this hunt. Um, let me just slide these down. Um, that's another maybe. So yeah, so I got all kinds of fun stuff. Let's zoom in. Um, I wish this wasn't dirty because that would be an awesome awesome coin from a uh from a, um an album this one does have some doubling on the d so a repunchment mark then we have this 2004 out of denver with um ddr number one out on variety vista so that's pretty cool um some cool finds um stuff to check against the uh, my my personal album um a whole roll full of wheat scents so that's cool and so i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up helps me out and drop a comment down below thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day